Right, something a little bit different. This is all fully recycled from my first um, Bedini type pulse motor that I actually put on YouTube. So the first one, this is the bits left out of it. That's the parrot cage generator that someone named it off it. Uh, but inside, if you can actually see those other two sets of coils, is a, another generating system. Uh, we're actually using it as a motor rather than the generator. It's actually the, uh, the copper wire off the same setup that this came off. And I've just uh, unwound them all, rewound them inside there. Quite a tricky little thing to do. Now, so we've also got a complete new circuitry. Um, this one is using a P gate FET or a P FET. We're using the same all effect switch on there as on here. Something I've learned about these is there has to be a good clearance too close and it fires too early and causes all sorts of problems. So that that basically has only got two components, uh, the FET and a resistor and of course the Hall effects. This is just to fire the uh, or waste the back EMF, it's just the same as what Bedini uses in his. Much simpler circuit than the Bedini circuit um, and a little bit more tolerant the FET seems to be even though it is a P-gate capacitor. So that is all connected, that's the generator, three phase four pole generator, is then just goes through the diode bridge and in to the capacitor. On the end we've got another one, this is one I built, built this haul this one for, was to test this up. It was just easy in trying to bolt on off end of that one, bolt on off, it was just hard on that big one to keep messing about with, I couldn't turn it end on to to play with it. So I built this jig up. This is not the one that's going on the end of this, just one uh, just to test a theory out that I had. So we've got north south, north south, 12 uh, neodymium magnets and 12 coils. That just runs down into a bridge rectifier and same as that one does. So that's completely isolated from the rest of the system, it's just that, that one is actually turning. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is that is identical to that. So this generator is identical to that generator. Now I know what you're saying, but it looks completely different. You're correct, it, it does. But it's still a four pole generator, um, generator, just the same as that one is. So they're both air core type motors. Both would be used in wind turbines of some description. Just this one's got 1500 turns per bobbin. Very thin gauge wire. The wire on this is so thin it's, it's more or less air thin. I can't remember the thickness of it. But there's 1500 turns on each. So it gives a lot more voltage than this one will because I think this has only got 50 turns with a lot thicker wire but gives more current. That's really the only difference. So now let's fire her up. Now she should start more or less on her own. She just take a little bit of go if I want it to fire on its own, which I do. Now we're running it at 13 volts. She's running, but she's just starting up. That's the current it's running. She's just dropping a little bit lower. You can just see the. back in the firing off there. So I always waste it. So obviously point and click and it always has an effect. That's the generator running off. Now I should have actually took a reading first, but uh, I'll stick it on quick so you can actually see we've already gone away. Put the camera down there like a silly boy. Can you see that? And she will go up to about 90 volts, I think. That's running from that one. The other one.
It's only doing about seven and a half volts at the moment, but she will go up to about 24. I think I've actually got that configured wrong, but that wasn't the uh, any intention of getting that one running. It was just to try this one out, just, just to test the principle up. So putting that back on again, because now I see that's gone to 50 volts. Uh, 13.1 volts input. Before anybody says it, no, that is not over unity. A long way from it. Let's have a quick look at that one. This is just in response to somebody that uh, was asking me if there was any other kind of circuit I could use. Well, there's the other new type of circuit. This will also go from about 10 to 24 volts. So if we just whack the voltage up to 24 volts. The speed goes up. You probably can hear that. Obviously the at 24, uh, well 23.9, we're doing uh, about 430 milliamps. That's now gone up to, well it's coming up to 80 volts and still climbing. But we're only filling the capacitor at the end of the day. Go up to 80 volts. That one's going to 17, it will go up to about 40, 45 volts that one. Oops, pulled the wire off. Just to show you. The other little thing for this video is, I'll take the power off. That is still running now, just on momentum. No tricks, no wires. Flywheel. Just to give you all what I'm coming at. That's what a lot of these little projects you're doing are missing, some sort of flywheel, just getting you a lot of momentum. Uh, I would run out of time if I left that running, because uh, it does run for a heck of a long time. But that's uh, what I'm playing with at the moment, and now we'll be getting back to this one because we've now I've done the bit of research I needed for this. I now know what I need to go on the end of that. Thanks for watching.